Um, so there's a similar thing for you actually like working on football, as in ACRA, sort of coaching the local team? Um, it's definitely different in the fact that, I don't know, it's a, there's a lot, in ACRA there's obviously the, a lot more knowledge mm. with their coaches, I, I think they've probably had, they've had more like experience with other coaches coming over and helping, so they've obviously picked up on that and used it there. So yeah. and here obviously there's not been these like foundations going very long ago. Um, so their coaches, you can see they're not very knowledgeable. Like one of the things is, uh, one of the managers said, he goes, oh, can you coach for me from the sideline? Whereas in England, if you're, because you see on the TV, and they obviously see on the TV these coaches running up and down the line screaming at players, they think that's coaching. Yeah. But it's not, <laughs> but that's what they see. And um, whereas coaching is like, like you, you watch, observe, mm. make the decision and tell them when you get a chance half time for the time. Yes. Mm. Um, another thing is with the injuries here, I like, they that's just, they, they, so they see people on TV, like if you get cramped, they're like, should do that. Because they see that on TV, they just, a kid will have any injury to his leg and they'll start jamming it back. Mm-hmm. Just because that's what they think, it, it, they, they see on TV and that's what they think football yes. is. So Definitely. us coming over and giving them the, the knowledge they need to know to make sure these kids are looked after, developing properly is definitely cool. essential. Yeah. So that experience actually working directly with the coaches as well and then helping the coaches um, progress with their coaching yeah. and when then they leave, that's something that you also found a benefit to your You can see the coaches are watching you, they're observing because mm-hmm. they, they, they want to learn, which is a good thing. Because yeah. obviously they've only got a fixed amount of knowledge that they can have over to these kids. So yeah, it's definitely probably one of the most important things is making sure that the, the coaches know so that when these volunteers aren't here, then coaches can do the sessions. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. So, otherwise, because otherwise we will be leaving and then yeah. we'll just be going back to the same old yeah. place. And it's such a fantastic thing, like with like you guys come in as volunteers, like helping with the development of the community through mm-hmm. like teaching and um, supporting the development through having the people that then teach as it's like a trickle down effect so yeah. you can continue yeah. to learn. Mm-hmm. Um, so you all sort of heard with the netball and like I said before, the access to resources and were a bit limited for netball. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, you're doing football? So, yeah, so um, originally it was just going to be mainly football but I spoke to them about it and they've been really good at like organising stuff for me, so, mm. so it suits me and yeah. making sure that I make the most out of my experience because if I was just at the football all the time I don't think I'd be learning as much so they've been really good and I'm so glad that they've helped like sort that out and um, big staff who was like in charge down here has helped sort that out. Yeah. So I've um, had some balls and stuff that I brought over, um, I didn't bring any net balls but I brought some footballs and some like little blow up balls but they're really good for dodgeball because mm. they're so light and you can just play with them and if it hits you it doesn't hurt. So I've just yeah, gone with it and adapted and thought, right, what can I do with the equipment that we have? What's the best thing? And so far, yeah, they've loved it. So. Awesome, awesome. 